Justice was sharing this important message. It's six planets, well, it's five planets direct by it. right now. Six planets. The sixth planet will go direct in 12 days. Saturn is direct. Jupiter is direct. Pluto is direct. Venus is direct. Mercury is direct. Neptune goes direct. December 4th, that is in 12 days, that is in two weeks. Now, what that means, okay, now when Jupiter, uh, Jupiter was in retrograde uh, July 28th, 2022 in Aries and Baby Boss, okay, so um, something changed with your business, something changed with your family, something, uh, something shifted, your luck, your luck could have changed for better or for worse July for better or for worse uh, July 28th 2022 uh, it went direct in Pisces uh, November 23rd 2022 that is today the new moon the new moon so Jupiter and Pisces is gonna be a shift it's like you're gonna be, if you wasn't getting what you want you're about to start getting everything that you want okay if things weren't going away things are about to go your way again Saturn um, went direct October 23rd in Aquarius it was in retrograde in Aquarius so Aquarius is Saturn it, it depends on where your Saturn placement is okay but uh, Saturn is direct in Aquarius and that happened October 23rd okay Neptune, like I said, Neptune goes direct in 12 days. That's December 4th. Okay. By then, uh, when it when it does, um, you'll know how uh, you'll know how or you'll know how you really feel about uh, your feelings, because like your feelings could be a little murky right now. Like you're thinking about how you feel about people, places, and things. You know. Okay. So by December fourth, you'll pretty your feelings will be intact again. Like your emotions will be collected. Like you'll you'll be whole. You'll know how you feel about things. Like you'll make your final decision. Like December fourth about everything. Uh, Pluto went in retrograde June twenty eighth, twenty twenty two, in Pisces. So you were thinking a lot. You know, and this goes with uh neptune your feelings uh you were trying to figure out who what when where why and how things need to change you were thinking about death you could have been just thinking about a scorpio but change and the power you have to change things okay you're really in your feelings and emotions like june 28th that's when it started june 28th june 20 22 so by december 4th you know things will be clear to you um, no, by uh, October 8th, Pluto went direct. So, Capricorn, you were uh, by October 8th, okay, uh, Pluto uh, went direct. So, you, I mean, you have an idea, okay, you have an idea of what you want. Like, but now, like on December 4th, you'll be actually sure about the changes. It's like you'll be showing, like, October 8th, it's like you've been putting things into order into perspective like showing people who is in charge okay because Pluto went direct in Capricorn October 8th okay Venus was in retrograde December 19 2021 in Capricorn you were trying to figure out are you truly in love with somebody you like you wanted to know if it was true love okay Venus went direct January 29 2022 uh like so the beginning of this year like you realized that you were in love with someone okay you realize you were in love with being a father you were realizing about leading being the head of a household about being an owner about being a father coming together with this person uh you made your mind up accepting the fact that you were in love so you pretty much made your mind up about who what where why like the, the person you're going to be building this foundation with somebody you could you could have started a business okay 
or are you was thinking about how to change your business or make your business better in 2021 uh mercury that's what i'm saying mercury was uh in retrograde september 10th like you had a lot on your mind september 10th 2022 it ended october 2nd 2022 uh you thought you thought about what happened from january 14 2022 october 2022 like um retracing your steps uh uh things you did so you can repeat so you can't repeat or things you want to change make changes with your future your love life uh how fair you was balancing your work life love life and your fun did you waste time so uh in september you were really set means to box means to close in so september 10th like uh, you really really had a lot on your mind far as your future your work your spouse your time you were giving things you gave things you didn't give the times you did share the time you didn't share like did you waste time uh, time and space did you meet your goals or how far are you into the goals that you set for yourself or you set for your life so a lot of that like somebody could have I don't want to say somebody could have been in a midlife crisis but uh, you know somebody's worried about their future here like that is good you know life is serious like getting shit in order okay so by uh, December 29 2022 you'll be up for a review by like January 18, 2023, you should be right where you should be in your life, okay? You know, because that's where that thought came from. Like you were putting things in perspective and order, okay? Mars went into retrograde in Gemini, okay? Like uh, Mars retrograde in Gemini started October 30th, 2022. Uh, you made changes to how you deal with people, places, and things saying what and who goes and who stays okay so by january 12 2023 those people placing the things will have changed for better or for worse uh being in charge is not easy it's not easy being a boss it's not easy being a founder but you know you have to speak up and you know you can't be nice all the fucking time people are not gonna like what you have to say all the time or people are not gonna like how you do things all the time but you know it's the best for you do what's best for you okay now uranus was in retrograde and taurus okay taking a rest for like six months like you slept from august 20th 2021 to like january 18 2022 like how much time did you take for yourself how much time did you put in work how much time did you put into yourself okay hey like, Listen, somebody's taking long ass naps. Like, I don't know. Somebody probably haven't got that much work done. Okay, but August 24th, 2022 um, to January 23rd, 2023. Like, your progress is going to show far as when January 23rd, 2022 get here because uh, Uranus will be uh, direct January 23rd, 2022. And, you know, Uranus is the uh, dark side of the moon, the opposite of Taurus is Scorpio. So some shit is, will be, like, killed off, like, finished, done. Bless you, bless you. Some, some things will be finished, done. Some shit will be killed off, or you'll be killing some shit. You just ended some shit. Like, things will be made very clear. Excuse my lips, uh, my stutter. Things will be, like, very clear by January 23rd, 2023. Like... People will have to accept change for what it is. You have really changed. Things are really changing. Life changes. Life goes on. So if you haven't been putting in that necessary work that you need to make change in your life, like you've been taking vacations, sleeping, just bullshitting it around, like, you know, a lot of things could have changed for you in the last two years. And uh, depending on if it was good or bad, it determined on how much effort and work you put into yourself or effort and work you put into your life. Okay, this new moon, things are different, okay? 2023 is going to shape for how 2024, you're going to be either struggling in 2024 or you're going to be extremely comfortable in 2024. But it depends on the work that you put in in the last two to three years 
So, um, I, I wish you well. I wish you luck. You know, I really hope you take your life or the situations and the tasks, the lessons, because Saturn is direct. You have new lessons. So, I hope you paid attention. I hope you learned your lessons. I hope you completed, like, Saturn cycles, Saturn lessons. Okay, I hope you're not repeating some things because 2024, things will get much, much harder because by 2026, Uranus will be in Gemini, you know, and like some, like 2026, just like your peace will be like shaken up because of the shit that you had endured from 2023 and 2024, okay, you're going to determine whether you're going to like a lot's gonna determine your behavior from the last three years. What have you done if you're gonna have peace in 2026, 2020, like 2026, like 2023, 2024, and 2026? Those are very important years, especially 2024 because it's a leap year. Like it's a cycle. You're gonna be going in circles if you haven't done the necessary work you needed to to move forward in your life. Like, certain people don't even know what the hell they want to do with their life. Some people don't even know what's their talent or what they want to be or where they... Some people don't know whether they're going up, down, left, right. Like, some people don't have no guidance, okay? But I hope uh, you're listening and everybody, like, you know, and, like, you know, that wounded healer shit or that spirit guy shit, everybody... Is not your fucking spirit guide. If you're in the right place at the right time, you'll be with the right people, not the wrong people, okay? And uh, that wounded healer shit is like some bullshit. Everybody go through shit. Like, you know what happens when you're wounded? You heal. You heal from the past. You heal from things. So I hope you did a lot of self-work, self-healing. Because, uh, yeah, like... Cycles have been completed. Things have shifted and changed. And I hope you're on the good side of that change. Hope you're on the good side of karma. Justice will soon hit the sub button.